Hello there, everybody, and we are back. I've been quite busy at work here lately since the spider farm's been completed. Been really happy with that. Gotten a lot of uh, some really nice enchants out of that. And since then, I've been working on this room quite a bit. Ha. Um, and I'm not sure what I've shown lately, so I'm kind of going to go through all of it. But what I believe I've done since my last time recording it is I have um, dug out the entire circle. It's a uh, our project is going to be quite ex I don't need dirt for this. Oh, an Enderman must have gotten it. Bastard. Um, it's quite large. It's, uh, yeah, you can see that wall now. So, this is how large our end up, uh, area is going to end up being. I'm going to have it all grassed in. Um, kind of got bummed out when I found this is below a desert, but it's okay. It's kind of an interesting hue to it. So, I'm still working on getting a large portion of it grassed in. It's taking forever. I had the unfortunate find of slimes in my base. Just there's a ton of slimes. This is all slime chunk, and since I've dug it out, they love to spawn here. So I'm gonna have to build a spawning area for them below this. But I'm gonna build a mob farm anyways for reasons I'll talk about later. But yep, I need to get more dirt still, and we'll have the other part of this hauled out. So today, so the thing I've been working on the most, which is was so I could build some. Oh, look, an Enderman got another block right there. Ooh, I'm gonna light this up better. I've said I'm going to dig out the ceiling. Uh, well, it's going to take a long time, and I've decided to use TNT, so I have to get the TNT, because I dug this out. Yeah. So this took me like six hours with enchanted picks. Eh, maybe not that long, maybe four hours. I don't know. I lose track of time. I was watching movies. But man, this took a long time to dig out. So the eventual goal is that this is going to be dug all the way to that wall, all the way to that wall. It's going to be glass over the top, and we're going to have the nether uh, the nether brick reaching it um, at the very highest point, so it's going to be kind of like a circle, and I think it'll look really, really crazy <laughs> um, then. But today, I wanted to work on the centerpiece, which is our fountain. So, I was playing around with it before I started this video today, and uh, we're going to have water flow from the top flow down. Oh, we'll, sh we'll work on it, I'll show you what we have in mind. I have in mind. What else? And then there's the other funny thing that has happened since then. Um, yeah, so I haven't shown any of this since a previous episode, I know, because um, when I was I was about here, and I started, and when I dug all this out, I had a Silk Touch Fortune 3 Efficiency 4 pick, and I ended up getting all this. A lot of smooth stone. So I don't think I'm going to run out of smooth stone for quite a while. Although, whatever. It's really nice not to have to worry about uh, worrying about mining it. All right, I actually want these on the underside, uh, but I want them. I want them. I want them at like that high level. Let's see. So water's gonna flow down onto these. So I have two options. I can either have it. I can either have it right here. I can have it right. Because I want the water to flow like it would on all water. Oh, the second for, sh for sure. God, I don't like either of them. Maybe I should just make the whole thing one higher. Let's see, so for here. Mm. Once I can always rebuild it, I suppose. That's a bit of a pain, but... I don't want the water flowing like a awkwardly half block above. That'd look weird. Alright, so we're gonna go to here. Maybe we should use dirt or something. It'd probably be a lot. Hey, <laughs> I ran out of dirt. So, uh, in the meantime, we have. Uh, there was a the recent player, Alwyn Flower, who joined the server, which is Rage's wife. And we now have CS Perspective, happens to share, happens to be my initials, I thought that was funny. Uh, he's joined lately too, I don't know if we're having any more. Um, I've been trying to get a personal friend of mine on, and we'll see what happens with that. But, uh, it's been interesting. Um, CS is going to start building a little more heavily once um, the new patch comes out, which I don't blame him. He wants to take full advantage of the new terrain, and I do too. I have a little advantage over one though. I um, I think I'm the only person who's wrangled up villagers so far. 
So once it hits, I'm going to be able to get the emeralds that I need because I dig a lot. And then I think maybe I'll just put the floor down. I can't do that. Hmm. 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 Anyhow, uh, I have villagers, and so, yeah. I'm going to use those villagers as little trade monkeys, and I was playing on, um, I downloaded the patch and I started playing it, and I gotta say, it's, uh, these might be too far, they are. Some of the stuff is really cool. I am particularly fond of, um, villagers trading you enchants. I've really enjoyed that. Uh, not so much the new enchanting system, though. I've had a lot of problems with, like, uh, oops, with not getting, you're supposed to get from what I've read from the patch notes, is uh, for since the enchant max level is 30, you're supposed to be getting uh, what's it called. Basically, every time you enchant, you're supposed to be getting two enchants, uh, no matter what. And it makes third enchants, I believe, a little more rare, which is unfortunate. But level 30, you can just enchant a ton of stuff. Anyhow, I found that I almost always get level one enchant, or uh, not level one, but single enchants, and I can't for the life of me figure out. Why? And I think that other people might have a similar issue, and so it seems like there's, a, there's some uh, some bugs going on with that. Some stuff they kind of fix and steam. Some whoa. Some issues they need to kind of smooth out. Uh, I've also been I'm not very happy with. The, while I like not needing as much experience, the means to get it now are almost comical. Uh, so it turns out it's a lot faster to mine your way for experience than it is to, like, farm mobs. You know, I might make this, since this is so wide, I might make the center part. Oh, this is, I don't, well, let's see, if I remove, oh my goodness, that lightning was so intense, Rage's wife left the game. Ugh, I don't blame her, it's scary. That seems kind of low, doesn't it? But that one seemed high. Oh, what a conundrum. And I don't want it to be thick, do I? I, don't, I didn't think I wanted that, and I don't think I do. Wouldn't that look awkward if it was like that high? Hmm. Or if it was that thick, I mean. I'll take some opinions on this one. I think maybe for now I will build it with uh, full on blocks. And we'll see what becomes of it. This is certainly too low. That doesn't work at all. That doesn't. I don't like that one bit. But I don't want to make the fountain itself much taller. Uh, so that's a problem. Come on! I thought these things were so fast. Why not? All right, we'll do it with solid for now, and I'll leave it at that for this episode. If I don't like it by the end of it, I'll just make it half slabs. So I'm gonna build this out really quickly. Now that I don't have to do this half slab stuff, it'll be really fast. Once I dig these out. So, um, right before this had started, I think I got the circle I like. Because circles can be kind of a pain to make. If you're not very artistic. Like I am not. So, yeah, made my life a lot easier having already dug out. And I'm really looking forward to getting another section of this done so I can get some food sources going because I've just been eating spider eyes non stop and I'm tired of eating spider eyes. Here, 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 and then here, here. That seems off. I think it's the other way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sir is not a very good circle. Really? I had no clue. Maybe we should just get the perimeter. Cool. I'll be good. Just get the perimeter done first. They'll make this whole thing a lot easier. And so then the next two blocks are here and here, right? Oops, not there. Excellent. And oh, I didn't need to do that. Oh, there's slime. So these guys are just everywhere. I think I mentioned that. But what's particularly annoying is in the SMP, since it's the ceiling is too high, they have a tendency to um, the little ones will glitch into the ceiling. And so when I was almost done digging this like abomination of a chunk out, there was a little slime that was stuck in the blocks, and I was digging along like 
basically a railing, and he just kept pushing me off, and I got so infuriated. I eventually TNT'd the, the area to kill him. It just wouldn't die, no matter what I did. It was... It was pretty shitty. <laughs> Wasn't very happy about that. So, so they're a real pain in the ass, and I really I just have so much stuff to do, and all of it involves clearing out large quantities of blocks. Yeah, yuck. It's like my least favorite thing to do. I just want to build, and it's times like this you wish you could just world edit, but that kind of takes the fun out of it. No, it doesn't exactly take the fun out of it, but it's kind of against what we're trying to do on the server. Plus, I couldn't roll that if I wanted to. I'm so shitty with it. Right, so what we're going to do with this fountain is... Um, I'm going to widen this a bit so it doesn't look so odd. But basically, we're going to have water flow from the top of that. That's kind of cool. Um, you can't really see the water. You'll be able to see it enough, I suppose. And you'll probably be able to see it from buildings we have. And it's going to flow onto this... I think I'm going to widen the whole thing out, like two blocks. And it's going to flow, uh, I'm going to poke holes like in the corners, and it's going to flow and fill up the space and down here. So I think I'm going to fill this part out, and then I'll cut to when it's done. Alright everyone, we're back. Um, I made some changes, I'm going to end up changing it again, but we're going on a rough idea. That top little edge right there is going to get removed, there's water behind it. Um, so I made a basin, originally the two wide I did, and I just really didn't like it. So I've done the one high, I put holes in it. Um, I'm just going to finish it out this episode, but I believe what I'm going to do in following this is I'm going to pull this back, make it one thinner, or I might just change the entire... I think I might just get rid of those stairs in general. I'm not very happy with them. Um, and then I'm going to bring this edge down one. And it'll be a little squatter. But let's let the water go now and see how this looks. And we'll play around with it a bit more. I'm not really sure how long this video's ran, so I don't want to overshoot it, but I don't want to underdo it either. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for my next one to be honest. I uh I have so much things to get done and yet like I need to make a uh, crafting room where I can do all my enchanting and my brewing and I have a lot of that to do. I have a really cool idea for that. Man, I cannot reach this, can I? Um, I need to get a food area set up. I have to make a mob farm so I can get gunpowder. Uh, so I have to dig all this. A lot to do, and I'm not sure what I'll do first. I'll figure out something good, though. And I'd really like to do the brewing room and crafting room, uh, because I can do a lot of that on camera. There's some cool redstone that I'm going to put in there. So I think that'd be fun to see. Um, the farming device I'm going to use for food is going to be, uh, it's pretty cool. And it's going to have an interesting design to it, and that's something you can do on camera. But this kind of stuff, it's not as interesting. And when I move the villagers in, that'll be cool too. But, you know, I'm just trying to get to that point. Oh no, it doesn't fill up all the way. How am I going to fix that? I think if I put a block in each of these corners, it'll fix. Hey, it's a flow. Is that water underneath? What if we put a block here and a block here? And then here. Wow! That's just ridiculous. Why is... Alright. Well, the water's flowing from the other corners, is it not? I want to put the whole thing. How am I going to achieve that? Alright, I have the block is off again. Un segunda. Or una segunda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in I have this. It's an outer edge, right? Ah, oh, yeah, shit. Oh my goodness. I hate water so much. It's also kind of cool about this is you can see the night and day differences. I'm really happy with that fact. Alright, you gonna go away, water? No? Alright. So I guess for now we'll have it do that little awkward flow like it does. Uh, I think what happens is I'll reposition the holes and that will cause the water flow to get fixed. Come on. One more. There we go. So right. 
told me to go in the holes right now, and I really wanted to build the whole pan. That's kind of the idea. Um, well, when I lower this, I think that'll help it too. But let's see how this looks down here. Oh, lag. And yeah, these stairs will have to go. But that looks sort of cool. I like the lighting underneath the stairs. I think that gives it a cool effect. But I'm definitely I'm gonna narrow and lower this. I'm gonna make it less profound. I don't want it to be. I don't want it to be like the spotlight of it. And then the ceiling, you know, the ceiling will be gone because it's just blocking the view. So we're left with something like that. Hmm. So I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I like this. I don't like that. I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna make that flat. You can't really see it anyways. I'm gonna change the floor down here. I'm probably gonna make it. Oh, I should do like. I think we do glass with like. Maybe a glow sun underneath it, or maybe lava. I haven't decided. Something bright. And then we're going to narrow that whole thing by one block on each side, and I think I'm going to make it one. Oh, you know what could be cool is if I actually made it uh, narrow and high. I'm going to play around with this a lot more. There's a lot of, to be done. It can still be done with this thing to make it better. This is not going to be the final product, but we'll leave it here today. When you get some sleep, I'm not feeling too well. I'm gonna get a lot of work tomorrow, but this is a start. Yeah, let's see. Could be kind of cool to uh, make it really tall and have a smaller layer. Let's actually make it three, like one, two, three. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it narrow, and then we're gonna make a small one, like right there. It's gonna go up to like there. We're gonna make a small little circle there, this circle here, and the floor there. That's what we'll do. So, I think I'll have that finished out for next episode. Uh, in the meantime, this is Mr. Provines, and. Have a good one. Hey, I hope uh, you didn't leave yet. I kind of lied. There's a little bit more, I guess. Uh, I went ahead and I fixed it now. Uh, that's where we're at so far. This is better. And it's not finished yet. Um, I need to add flare. I think I'm going to raise that up uh, one block higher. I know I'm going to raise that one block higher. And then I'm going to do something with how the water is flowing down here. But I just want to give this a little update. I'm going to actually finish it for sure next episode. But I like this a lot more. This is a lot better than what we had before. It's looking a lot cleaner. If I could even add a third one, that'd be cool. But there's no possible way that. But alright, that's it. That's it for real. I hope everyone enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Seriously, last time. There. I made it higher. I know this is a really haphazard or whatever video, but this is what the fountain looks like now. And I'm going to clean up the bottom, and I'm not going to do this video, but I'm going to add a lighting, and I'm going to probably... I'm going to add some texture to this, but this is a much better fountain than we started with. I wish I had a better view angle on it. Damn ceiling. But I think this actually looks... You know, we're starting to look, it's starting to look pretty nice. I'm getting happier and happier with this fountain. I might make the water for these parts. Um, no, I know I'm going to make the water actually come out further. So it's going to not come on those blocks, but that'll be for another time. So I hope you've enjoyed, and see everyone soon.